Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you the task library. Uh, so basically, the task library is anything and everything having to do uh, uh, with functions and threads in like uh, functions and threads being scheduled with the task scheduler. And there's five primary task functions, but there is task dot desynchronize and task dot synchronize. We're not going to be going over those um, because it's in the task library, but it has kind of something to do with like has something to do with actors and parallel uh, Lua. Um, it's kind of off topic than what um, all these other ones are, so we're not going to be going over those. So the first one is task dot spawn what task dot spawn does is it accepts a function or a thread and it basically it just runs it immediately it creates a new thread and it spawns it immediately as it's in the name so how this could be useful is let's say you have a while true do loop that just keeps printing uh yes right that just keeps printing that but Let's say we want to do something else down here. What we would have to do is make a new thread, call it task.spawn, or, you know, task.spawn function. And there you go. It would create a new thread beyond this, and we're going to pr uh, print working. All right. And that's how task.spawn works. It's going to immediately run everything on a new thread immediately like I said it, it's immediate there's no delay or anything and so when I open up the command bar and I load string game dot service script service dot scripts dot source and then I have the outputs and I run this as you can see uh, it's printing yes and wait where's the test dot spawn it's not hold on guys Alright, I'm sorry guys, I was doing that completely wrong and I was supposed to. Um, so basically, what we're doing here is I, I've typed something new. We are putting a while true do loop inside of task.spawn. Normally, if you did not run a new thread right away, what's going to happen is this while true do loop, it's going to keep going over and over and over again. It's never going to get to down here. Task.spawn allows us to go beyond that it makes a new thread it runs that thread but also um, being able to print working so what's gonna happen is it's gonna keep printing yes but it will allow us to print working so when we play the game there you go uh, yes working and it keeps printing yes just like that now let's do it um, without the task.spawn and you guys will see what will happen then all right uh, okay play the game again and it's only gonna print yes because it's stuck on the same thread and that uh, one thread will just keep repeating itself the next one is kind of weird it's task.defer um, doing the same thing here task.defer function and task.defer it runs at the, um, what is it, like, uh, it defers the function until the next uh, resumption cycle, which is things like run service. So what this is doing is that this will run at the end of the frame. It's basically test.spawn, but running at a later date in the frame, right? So if I print working, whoa, working, play, it's going to print working. So yeah, that's basically task out the first. Not much to it. It's just task out spawn, except it runs at the end or the next resumption cycle, which is your run service uh, events and stuff like that. Okay, so next up is task dot delay. Task dot delay takes a number and then a function. So what this number is is the um, amount of seconds before the function starts running. 
or uh, before the next thing runs. So what this is, okay, so I'm, I'm going to type an example. So five function prints working. This code is the exact same as if we were to do this. That is the exact same thing. This and this are doing the exact same thing because we are waiting five seconds and then it is running working. So just to prove that, play the game. Wait, I didn't print anything. Oh, because it hasn't been five seconds. And there you go. After five seconds, it both say working. That is doing the exact same thing. Next up, we have task.wait. Task.wait, it yields the current thread until the next heartbeat uh, given in the given duration. So what this, this is basically like wait. It is the non-deprecated version of wait. Just advising you guys never use wait. Task.wait instead. It's the exact same thing as wait. You put in the amount of seconds you want to wait, like five. Uh, basically what I was doing in that other example, after five seconds, print working. Same exact thing as saying wait, five seconds, working. So yeah, uh, a better wait, a faster wait. Now before I move on to task.cancel, every single one of these, like task.spawn, task.defer, task.delay, these return a thread. That's what these return. Task out spawn and all then they return a thread uh, instance. Now using task.cancel, it's literally in the name, we can cancel a thread. Back to my while loop example. While, I'm gonna say task out wait. Do working. Back to this example. Um, this will keep uh, going. Right, this will keep on uh, running. But from the thread that we got here, we can then cancel it. Task, so after five seconds, we can cancel that thread. So task.cancel thread. Because we are using the thread that we got from task.spawn, which we can name it anything. I just called it thread for being simple. And then down here, after five seconds, we are then canceling it. And again, if we play the game, It'll keep printing working, after, um, and then after five seconds, it stops. Just like that. That is how task.cancel works. It just cancels the uh, thread. Um, so you can no longer use it. And yeah, guys, that was today's video. If you guys did learn something from this video, or you just enjoyed it, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.